for hydrographic surveying, it's it's critical that sound velocity is taken into account for um, for bathymetric collection. So, in any medium, the way that sound travels through that medium is different. In acoustics, the uh, sound pulse will be affected by different mediums, so fresh water, salt water, um, and the three main components are temperature, depth and salinity, temperature being the most critical, especially in that top layer around the transducer faces. Okay, the process that we're undertaking here is a sound velocity profile. What we're going to do is deploy this probe and measure the sound speed profile down through the water column. We use that to correct our multi-beam echo sounder data for sound speed and travel time through the water column. These are two styles of probes that we, we tend to use. Both of these measure temperature and depth. They don't measure salinity. Salinity is a kind of a, um, a given for, they, they know what salinity is for most water bodies. Um, Salt water around New Zealand and in Tauranga is generally around 36 parts per million. Um, and yeah, generally you're looking at sound velocities of 1500 metres per second up to about 1520 metres per second in, in sort of um, waters around New Zealand. And in fresh water you're looking at sort of 1480, 1470 sometimes. And that, that, that's the big difference. In, Changes in temperature, salinity and depth are going to ultimately change your, the height of your data and that's what we're trying to correct for.